<sighs> okay. Hey, I'm Lippet, and welcome to Let's Build Champagne, episode 4. Today we're going to start building and assigning Louvre in Minecraft, or the Champagne Palace, which we'll call it from now on. The design and colours of Turtle's Opera has inspired me to include every little hint of colour from the real life palace here in my Minecraft recreation. You'll therefore see some radical choices throughout the building process. Don't expect this to be an exact replica of the Louvre complex. I'm going to take some creative liberties. Alright, let's start the time lapse. The designing process of this part of the Champagne Palace took a very long time, mainly because of its setting the standards for the rest of the complex, but also because I often got distracted with chatting in my own Discord fan server. Yes, you heard me right, and I invite you all to join my new Discord server, Café de Champagne. Link will be in the description. Join for conversations with like-minded people, building a device and lovely Minecraft creations shared in the build gallery. Looking forward to seeing you. Alright, so I've been working on some other things outside of Minecraft since last time, for Champagne and for the Gromit Empire. I've created my own watermark for Instagram, one for Champagne related builds and one for other creations of mine. There's a link in the description to my Instagram if you haven't checked it out yet. Lots of lovely builds. Furthermore, I'm happy to present to you the official map of the Gromit Empire. Our world is divided into three continents, being Gromerica, Europe and Alcabula. France and Champagne are located in the center. The map can be found on my Discord server if you want to take a closer look at all the different places in this universe. But let's focus on Champagne. It's time to present the 16 arrondissements and the law around them as of now because changes will be made and if you have ideas for law, feel free to share them. Before I start talking about the districts of Champagne, remember that my French pronunciations of names and places are perfectly correct, with no mistakes at all. 
The city of Champagne is divided into 16 different arrondissements. 1. Le Palais 2. Champagne Centre 3. L'Hôtel de Ville 4. Le Jardin Extraordinaire 5. Côte de Champagne 6. Colistois 7. Banlieue d'Ancacon 8. La Forêt Milieu 9. Champagne Maritime 10. saint Lepet, 11. Bonabublu 12. Île aux Célibat 13. La Pointe Nord 14. Port de Champagne 15. Montval 16. OK, that's the 16 arrondissements. And in each district of Champagne, there's a tank banking to sit and think on a bench. Real life inspiration for the arrondissements are 1. Louvre, 2. Paris, 3. Bordeaux, 4. Jardin de Luxembourg, 5. Montpellier, 6. Lyon, 7. Arcon, 8. Bordeaux, 9. Bordeaux, 10. Paris, 11. Paris, 12. Quignes, 13. La Rochelle, 14. Montmartre, 15. Montmartre, 16. Bordeaux. Now, a bit of law for each on this and more. 1. Le Palais, or the Champagne Palace, is Champagne's answer to Louvre. Built by the noble family Bonnebubleu as a way of showing their superiority in Champagne. Champagne Palace is one of the seven landmarks of Champagne and a popular museum. 2. Champagne Centre is the home of l'Opera and a central gathering place for the Champagne Aqua. Heavily renovated during the Haussmannian period when the centre of Champagne became a sudden Paris with boulevards and avenues. 3. One of the older parts of Champagne, due to its history, it was preserved when the Champagne-loving Napoleon III decided to modernise the architectural style and layout of this French city that shared his love for Champagne. 4. Le Jardin Extraordinaire Gardens of the Champagne Palace, created by the Bonnebubleus as a park for the aristocracy and high class. Now it's open to all the Champagne Aquarius as a park to study, go for a walk and chill out on a sunny day. 5. Court Champagne is the Riviera and University District of Champagne. The university faces the park which makes for a perfect place for students to go study whilst they eat their prolonged and mighty lunch as they drink champagne like Frenchmen do. 6. Colistois the main entrance to Champagne's canals from the south, slightly fortified. Lovely Riviera with historic and well-preserved architecture on a little hill. Home to Basilique Notre Dame de Colistois, one of Champagne's seven landmarks. 7. Arcon is the colourful and effervescent Arcone's suburbs of from the 19th century. Here you'll also find France's most popular beach in addition to a lot of forest. Arcacorn is famous for its Ville de Ville, where Alexandre Dumas once lived. 8. This is where the city goes into the forest and then to the suburbs. It consists mostly of ordinary Champagnian architecture from the 18th century. It's also Champagne's Jewish quarter, with narrow streets and Jewish cuisine, and a synagogue. 9. Champagne Maritime has been the main harbour of the city since the 18th century. Many ships have come here to deliver and receive goods. Ice from Scandinavia, wool from the Celtic Empire, tea from Britain, additionally all things from Gro America. 10. saint Lepet is the home to Champagne's train station, Gare saint Lepet, built in the late 19th century. It's come to be a central part of Champagne's economy and accessibility from other places in France. 
It's one of Champagne's seven landmarks. 11. Bonaboo Blue has always been the high class arrondissement. This is where the aristocrats. Aristocrats, you say, flippant. Don't you mean aristocrats? Wonder. All the parties and banquets are hosted here. It was heavily influenced by the Hausmannian period. Here you'll find the old club, the Champagne. 12. Il or Celibat has been the home to a monastery for the nuns since the 1400s. But they are not alone there. The famous artist Matty lives there as a hermit and draws the surroundings. The nuns too sometimes, often or natural, as celibacy has a limit. 13. La Pointe Nord, the oldest and most northern part of Champagne. Known for its coastal fortification and appreciated for its great access to the lowlands. With its narrow streets and lovely scenery, La Pointe Nord is an exquisite place to visit. 14. Port Champagne is the main city gate and its exit. When the Osmanian period reached Champagne, the more common Champagne Croix had to move away from the city centre and to the outer parts like Port Champagne, La Pointe Nord and Montval. 15. Montval is a delightful hill in Champagne, capped by the magnificent basilica Sacre Croix. It's a tourist trap in Champagne and it has the most lovely and yummiest French mademoiselles in addition to exquisite art and colourful architecture. 16. Hockey is the most champagne-loving part of Champagne. Hockey as in hiccup because they drink the effervescent wine all day every day. There's a nice view over to South Hill from the Riviera. Every townhouse will always have a wine cellar. Champagne is the largest of the five districts of France, the others being Lise in the southeast, Saint-Thur in the east, which was recently a part of Deutschreich, hence why the borders are still there. Then there's Ardennes in the northeast and Bayeux in the northwest. Real life equivalents would be Provence or Quitaine, southern France for Lise. Alsace-Lorraine, Eastern France for Sartre, Hauts de France, Ardennes, Northeastern France for Ardennes, Normandie, Bretagne, Northwestern France for Bayeux, and we've already mentioned the real life inspirations for Champagne. Oh, would you look at that! A duel between two musketeers has occurred here. Seems like Deltic won. He's our New Year's builder. Give him a warm welcome. Well, that's all for this episode of Let's Build Champagne. You might have noticed that I have a new microphone, so expect only champagne quality audio from now on. Next time we'll have even more progress done here on Louvre. Thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, we're closing in on 1000, and check out my Discord server. Anyways, until next time, remember to drink champagne.